Welcome and thanks for joining me here today in the kitchen at TCT. I'm flying solo. I guess Julie and friends, I don't know where they went. I think they're waiting to eat, trying on wigs maybe. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I have a great recipe here for you today. It's my sizzling scallops with zucchini fettuccine. So delicious and healthy and I think you'll be really surprised at how fast this is going to come together. Um, what you're going to do first is start out, you're going to preheat your skillet. I'm going to turn mine down just a little bit. And you are going to add, oh, about a fourth of a cup of whipped butter. Now, I use whipped, keyword is whipped, because anything whipped's got a little, little bit of air in, whipped into it. It's gonna make it a little bit lighter, but it's, it's actually the real stuff. It's real butter. It's none of that imitation stuff. My grandma always taught me to use the real thing when you're cooking. Now, everything tastes better with a little garlic and butter. So what I do is add a couple of cloves of pressed garlic. This garlic press is one of the best things that I've ever invested in, this fresh garlic. Now the cool thing about these, you can buy fresh garlic in bulk now in the store. And what I do is keep a bunch of it on hand in my freezer when I'm getting ready to cook. I just pop out a little bit to get into my recipes. So you're gonna tape a couple of cloves of fresh pressed garlic down into that butter. Now while you're getting that all melted around, you're gonna work on your noodles. Now the traditional Alfredo fettuccine Alfredo noodle is your pasta, but we're gonna make them out of zucchini today. It's so delicious and it's so easy. This is something you can even get your kids to do. They don't have to be perfect, but you can just, I even leave my ends on so I've got something to kind of hold on to, but you make these long strips of these beautiful fettuccine noodles. Now they don't, like I said, they don't have to be perfect. You can get really fast at this after a while. Um, but the first couple times, sometimes these break in half a little bit. It's okay, just stand it up like this. And you wanna get all the way down till you get to your seeds. Now, I don't really like to waste anything, so a lot of times I'll cut the seeds up and I'll actually even put them in a salad or I'll just sit here and munch on them while I'm cooking. Um, but what's so great about this recipe, you know, God gave us all these plants and fruits and vegetables and it's okay to have pasta every now and then, but I get a lot of requests for low carb recipes. So I thought, why not start making some noodles out of my vegetables? And what's funny about it, they have all these gadgets now that you can buy, and I said, why didn't I think of that? But all you really need is a carrot peeler for this, so if you don't have the fancy gadgets, this one I found is my peace sign carrot peeler. I love that one. But, so you're just gonna keep on kind of shredding up these noodles, get down to the seeds. You, like I said, discard or whatever. But this recipe is so delicious because if you ate this much pasta, you'd probably be sick. And people eat with their eyes first, so this you can eat a huge portion of this. And it was funny the other night, my husband had something he had to do, so he decided that he was gonna, I told him what I was making and he decided that he was gonna go ahead and stop by the house and eat first. So he loves this recipe. And every time they're eating it, they always say, Mom, this should be in your cookbook. I said, it is in my cookbook, so. Anyway, so once you get that done, you can just kind of discard the, the seeds or whatever. Now, your butter should be all melted down, ready to go. And you're kind of gonna turn your heat up a little bit on this, because you want to get these all browned in. And that's already starting to smell so delicious. So you've got your butter in there, and you're just gonna add all these noodles. And I know this looks like a lot, but these are really gonna cook down once you get them into that butter and garlic. So you're gonna get that in your pan. It already smells so good. You know, and it's healthy too. So you're getting some vegetables into your family's diet. Just gonna kinda make sure you've got a big pan, that way you're able to stir, get everything tossed in there. Now, you are gonna add some kosher salt. So I add all my kosher salt in, kind of to taste, however, and then I love fresh ground pepper. That's another good investment. A good pepper grinder makes everything taste better. So that is so easy, and, and how quick this all comes together. Um, I like my noodles a little al dente, so you know you don't want to overcook your zucchini. You want to get it to where it's kind of like that golden brown color and delicious. Now, once this gets going good, get your noodles kind of sauteed up. You're gonna start to cook your scallops in just a minute here. But see how quickly this reduces down? Mmm, smells so good. 
I know the girls are going to love this if they're in there waiting, waiting to eat this. But so you're going to get that going, and, and like I said, keep it on kind of a high heat. I love the beautiful color in it too. It just it looks delicious. And believe it or not, even kids, you know, sometimes when you show them something green, they're like, "But man, my daughter will eat two and three helpings of this, and so do her friends when they come over. They absolutely love it." So you've got that going. Now you're going to get ready to to cook your scallops. So you're going to heat up a little bit of. I use the whipped butter again a little bit, a couple tablespoons, whatnot. And then I also use a little bit of oil in this recipe. So you're kind of going to let that start to heat up. Okay. Got this going good. I'm also going to add a couple more cloves of garlic because I love garlic. Now this recipe is in my cookbook and I think I use like three cloves because we like a lot of garlic at our house, but you know, make it your own. Now. Some people do not like scallops. If you don't like scallops, by all means, substitute shrimp. You can use chicken. You know, just tailor this to your family's taste and what you all like the most. It's delicious with just about any of that. So while that's heating up, this is coming together really well. It's just about ready to add our Alfredo sauce in here, but this is a healthy Alfredo sauce. So. What I'm going to use, you can buy fat free, half and half. So you, this is easy to remember. These are all one fourth cups. You're going to add your one fourth cup of half and half. And what you're going to do, you're going to reduce your heat down now just to a simmer. Just going to let that simmer. Okay. Now, I love the whipped Greek yogurt and cream cheese. You can buy this already put together in a tub. It's whipped Greek yogurt and cream cheese. So I'm going to add in probably a couple of tablespoons of that. That's going to thicken it up just a little bit nicely. And then you're going to throw in a fourth cup of reduced fat Parmesan cheese. And there you go. That is going to be your delicious Alfredo sauce. See how nicely that reduced down. That looks delicious. So you're kind of going to let this be simmering while you're cooking your scallops. Now, your scallops, like I said, you, you must drain your scallops, rinse them off and drain them. And, the, and one of the things that people get so scared about is high heat. But what you wanna do, you wanna cook your scallops on a real high heat because it, you're just gonna sear the outsides. You don't wanna overcook your scallops. So they're just gonna cook for like probably a couple of minutes maybe a minute and a half on each side till they get a beautiful golden brown color. Make sure that's heating enough. I may have to put that on the back one to see if it's, get that one going a little higher. I'm gonna make sure you got the high heat. That's the key to cooking scallops. And when you all get them in the pan, like I said, you're gonna salt and pepper these babies up again. But just make sure you pat them dry after you um, clean them and rinse them off. Make sure you pat them dry. They hold a lot of water. So once again, basically some kosher salt and some fresh ground pepper. And I just kind of use a fork. Just gonna saute these up. Um, we've, we've even used this recipe where we bought a rotisserie chicken and it's already cooked for you. Um, those are really affordable. And all you have to do is make up your noodles and throw your chicken in. So like I said, if, if you're not into the scallops and you'd rather have that, this is also really good with shrimp as well. You're just gonna kind of flip these and you'll start to see them, they'll start to just turn a little bit of a golden brown color on the outside. That's when you know they're about ready to take out. Probably wanna do a little more salt and pepper. Get it in there on both sides. That smells delicious. Now, I, I sometimes like the big scallops. You can also go for the smaller scallops if you can't find them. Sometimes scallops can be a little pricey, like I said, so watch when they're having a good sale. Starting to come together here. And then basically what you're gonna do is when these all get done in a good golden brown, you're just gonna pour the whole thing over the top of this and add some shredded cheese. And that is a meal. See how the 
sides are getting a little golden brown here. Okay, so all you're gonna do, take, pour down over the top of this all those juices. You're gonna add some of your shredded cheese. And there you go, enjoy. Don't forget to have table talk and say grace. Ciao for now.